Hello and welcome back. Tonight we're going to be going over the Slow and Sear Silver Bundle from SNS Grills. I have wanted one of these things since I found out it existed. This is something that will change any grill into a much better cooker. We're going to get this thing out of the box, put it on the grill, use the grill grates this time, and make some fantastic chicken thighs on this SNS kettle grill. So hit that subscribe button down there and check this out. Alright, let's get them out of the box. What the slow and sear is, is actually a charcoal basket that acts like a chimney. Oh, grill cover. <laughs> and it acts like a chimney because of this right here. Show you that in just a second. Mm, nice little decal there. Some instructions and cards. This is where the magic starts, right here. Good grief, is this heavy. This is your water pan. The slow and sear actually comes with a humidifying water pan for those long, low and slow cooks. And boy, you guys should see how thick the stainless steel is. This is not that aluminized steel stuff that the Weber's come with. This is actually really heavy gauge stainless. And this sucker must weigh, geez, at least three or four pounds. Let's see if you can see how thick this material is here. I don't know what gauge it is, probably 16. But this is a very heavy duty charcoal basket. This is the other half of the magic. This is the stainless steel griddle and drip pan. This is also probably three or four pounds of really heavy stainless steel. And it comes with a drip rack. So you can marry these up and actually use that as another cooking surface as well for indirect cooking. Now here's how this magic works to supercharge this kettle grill. Put the drip pan and griddle on one side, the slow and sear basket on the other side, with or without the water pan. We're just going to leave that in for tonight. And what that's going to do is focus the airflow instead of over here right through our charcoal. So this is going to give us better temperature control and both lower and higher heat depending on how we set the air shutters. That's cool. We'll go ahead and get the charcoal fired up. We've got about two thirds of a chimney of fresh charcoal and about a third of a chimney of the leftovers from the last video. So what we're going to show you guys with this thing is number one how the easy spin grates work with this slow and sear to help you do both sear and slow cook without having to do much messing around with the charcoal. And also it'll showcase how good the grill grates do on this grill as well. The slow and sear creates almost a vortex light current, almost a convection current inside the kettle like this, round around, because of the way it's funneling the air through that charcoal basket. So it acts basically like a vortex, but just one way instead of all the way around. And we will do a comparison between the SNS slow and sear and the vortex method in the upcoming video. Now just to keep this griddle clean, I went ahead and foiled mine, and I'm going to keep foiling it when I use it this way and not use the rack. Obviously you don't need the rack, we're just catching drippings with it. Our coal's hot, put these right in the basket, just even them out a little bit. We're going to let that warm up just a touch. Now let me show you how to use the Easy Spin cooking grates, the grill grate, and the slow and sear to make that chicken skin perfect every time. So the grill itself is up to temperature. What we want to do now is use the Easy Spin grate to spin the grill grates right on over those coals. This is going to get those heated up real nice for that sear. We're going to let these heat up for about five minutes because those aluminum raised rails heat up really fast. It's only been a few minutes and check this out. Listen to that sizzle. Good skin over there where we want it. I got a lot of chicken to pack on here. What this is going to do is sear that chicken skin for us, start it cooking real good, and give us those beautiful grill grate grill marks that these things are known for. Now these are not going to have to go for very long, just a couple of minutes like that. We'll give them a little turn, flip them, and spin the grate to indirect cook. This is what we got. Don't want to burn it. Because you're over some hot heat. 
Oh yeah, that's looking good. So just give it about a quarter turn here. You'll see why in a few minutes. So check it out. The sear is already pretty well done on these. We got those nice grill marks. We're gonna flip this over to indirect cooking. Go ahead and flip these on over the rest of the way. These aluminum rails heat up so much faster than steel grates. That's kind of the magic of the grill grates. So now, with a sear done, use your easy spin grate and kick that dude on around to indirect. Woo! Hot over those coals. And now we're ready for the slow part of that slow and sear. Everything's going to be set to indirect. We'll just roast them out from there. Now look, being able to do that on a charcoal grill is just flat cool. I don't care who you are. If you guys got a kettle grill, you know how cool what I just did is. Easy spin great, slow and sear. If you have a kettle and don't want to buy a kettle, go to SNS Grills, link down in the description below, and at least get that accessory for your kettle. And don't forget to grill grates. Now that we have everything on indirect, I'm going to go ahead and use my Tappacute air probe. And I'm going to put that in one of these chicken thighs, right about there, to kind of monitor what's going on wirelessly. These should be done. Just a quick check here. Yep, pretty close, 172. Look for 175 to 180. These are all good. So pretty much those are all done. We did a little quicker roast on these. I ran these at about 350 because I wanted to beat the darkness that's coming up here. And that slow and sear did a fantastic job, as you can see. Look at that. Wow. Now, as usual, we just shut this thing down. So there you go. The SNS grill, along with the slow and sear kit and the grill grates, is going to help pretty much anybody make absolutely perfect chicken on every cook. Links to everything is in the description below. You guys, if you have a kettle grill, like I said, you don't want to buy a new kettle grill, look up the slow and sear kit and get that for your grill, along with a set of those half moon grill grates. On the next chicken project, we're going to do spatchcock chicken a whole lot slower, but basically the same method. We'll also do a comparison video between the slow and sear and the vortex method of cooking. You can check all those out on the Kettle Grill playlist up there in the cards. There's going to be quite a few videos on those playlists, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Give me that thumbs up like button and the bell icon too, so you don't miss videos like this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Check those out when they're done up there in the cards with the kettle. You can check those out. This idiot with his f***ing truck. See? This is why I got to deal with them mechanics for. These freaking agents.